an extraordinary motion picture touched our most profound, nameless fears. Do you dare walk these steps again? Death be not proud, nor canst thou kill me. Satan grows stronger. You believe in possession, Father? He has found a haven. Come to take a little blood from your father. He has taken possession. The boy had been crucified. His web widens. I've just never seen anything like this in 20 years. Inside this cell. The killer drove an ingot into each of his eyes and cut off his head. Inside a man. Who are you? I am no one. A man we thought had died 17 years ago. He is inside with us! He will never get away! This time you're going to lose. The real terror is back. George C. Scott in William Peter Blatty's The Exorcist 3. At 0300 this morning, TDRS picked up an automated navigation beacon broadcasting at two minute intervals in Neptune orbit. Neptune orbit. This is incredible. It's the event horizon. She's come back. Event Horizon is the culmination of a secret government project to create a spacecraft capable of faster than light flight. The ship doesn't really go faster than light. What it does is it creates a dimensional gateway that allows it to jump instantaneously from one point of the universe to another light years away. Where has she been for the last seven years, Doctor? That's what we're here to find out. After seven years, in deep space. There were 18 people on board this ship when it disappeared. I want them all accounted for. Opening the outer door. It came back abandoned. Any crew? Negative. This place is a tomb. But it didn't come back alone. beyond the boundaries of our universe. Who knows where it's been? And what it's brought back with it. What is that? What is it? The ship is reacting to us and the reactions are getting stronger. What are you telling me? That this ship is alive? No. I have such one thing to show you. Oh my god. It knows my secrets. <laughs> it knows my fears. I don't think so. What's that noise? Popcorn. You're making popcorn? Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Well, just some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Someone is playing a deadly game. It all began with a scream over 911. Someone who's seen one too many scary movies. Now he's taken his love of fear. Hello? Hello, Sydney. One step too far. Do you like scary movies? What's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big breasted girl who can't act, who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a scary movie. Number one, you can never have sex. Hey, what's wrong with me? 
never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. You get another beer, you want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. He didn't make the rules. The police are always off track. If they watch Palm Night, they save time. He just kills by them. Don't answer the phone. Don't open the door. Don't try to hide. Museum security, you were the last one to leave last night. Did you see or hear anything strange? Well, I thought I heard something as I was leaving, but it could have been anything. Sweeping teams of two. Nobody goes in alone. This place is not going to open until every room is clear. I'll go. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Any idea about a weapon? Something big. The board is hosting a gala preview here tomorrow night. It would be a disaster for us if we had to postpone. We may have somebody on our hands who makes Jeffrey Dahmer look like a Cub Scout. You have to let the gala go on. Something's wrong. Come on, what's the matter with you? extinction of the human race. You know the accident up there? Yeah. Someone got hurt. They did? A lady. She broke her neck. Oh my god, but you can see her? Yes. Where is she? Standing next to my window. Did you ever talk to your mom about how things are? I don't tell her things. Why not? Because she doesn't look at me like everybody else, and I don't want her to. I don't want her to know. Know what? I see dead people walking around like regular people. I don't see anything. Are you sure they're there? Sometimes you feel it inside, like you're falling down real fast. Do you ever feel the prickly things on the back of your neck? Yes. That's them. They get mad. It gets cold. How often do you see them? All the time. They're everywhere. <laughs> they want me to do things for them. I think that they know that you're one of these very rare people who can see them. So you need to help them. What if they don't want to help? I don't think that's the way it works. How do you know for sure? Is anyone there? Look out! Please make them leave. I'm working on it. Yeah occurred the frightening and shocking history of Prince Dracula and the woman he loved. I have crossed oceans of time to find you. 
Ja. Dracul. There is a sinister, darker side to him. I find irresistible. I have never met any man with such a passion for life. He is unlike any man. What are you? Vampires do exist. This one we fight, this one we face. It can take on many forms. He is both young and old. He can appear as mist, as vapor, as the fog. And he can vanish at will. Oh, my love. The power of his evil desire has no end. You've got to go to him. You've got to love him. She is a willing recruit and devoted disciple. She is the devil's concubine. Dagon! Join me in the eternal life. Your salvation is his destruction. Yeah! I want to be what you are. I want to see what you see. I want to love what you love. Take me away from all this death. No mistake, he must be stopped. This one will drive you absolutely mad. The riots began because the stores could not meet the demand of Sutter Kane's novel, In the Mouth of Madness. Kane disappeared two months ago without a trace. Who's the guy that writes horror books? You can forget about Stephen King. Kane outsells them all. I need to know if he's alive or dead, and I need that book. It's a setup. It's a setup. I just have to work out how it's set up. Kane's writing has been known to have an effect on his readers. This is a map. This whole thing has been staged. You just get out. This is not reality. It's all happening for real, Trent. <sighs> Strickler's disease came to New York like a thief in the night. It was deadly, threatening to steal an entire generation of our children from before our eyes. Since it has proven to be virtually immune to chemical control, we had to find a new avenue of attack. We recombined DNA to create a biological counteragent. We call it the Judas Breed. Now, the cure they created has taken on a life of its own. So you think your little Frankenstein's got the better of you? They all died in the lab. But you let them out. Evolution is a way of keeping things alive. Sometimes an insect will evolve to mimic its predator. A fly can look like a spider. A caterpillar can look like a snake. They are breeding. Whatever it becomes, it destroys. Peter, these are lungs. Yesterday, it became human. If that thing has been around, I thought nobody's ever seen it. I think we have. You see the size of that thing? We changed its DNA. Put it around! 
Mira Sorvino, Jeremy Northam, Josh Brolin, Charles Dutton, Giancarlo Giannini, F. Murray Abraham, Mimic. Every day, Jacob Singer goes to work. What's wrong? Uh, it's one of those days. And every day, he wonders what is happening to him. Maybe it's the pressure, Jake. They're like demons, Jess. They weren't human. What were they, Jake? Let me look at your hand. You have a very strange line. See, according to this, you're already dead. <laughs> wrong, Jay. They're coming after me. I don't know who they are or what they are, but they're gonna get me, and I'm scared, Jay. I've seen them, too. Maybe the demons are real. He's running 106 feet. Ah! This is barbaric. I can get rid of the demons. Who are you? I can block the ladder. Who are you taking me? Where am I? Where do you want to go? Home. This is your home. You're dead. I'm not dead. What are you then? I'm alive. Everybody be cool. You be cool. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Profile. You understand the meaning of the words low profile? Sure. Two of America's most dangerous criminals have taken hostages. What is this? It's called a punch. I'm going to ask you one question, and all I want is a yes or no answer. Do you want to live through this? Yes. OK, ramblers, let's get rambling. One night is all that stands between them and freedom. This is my kind of place. But it's going to be one hell of a night. We might be in trouble. We have a bunch of fucking vampires out there trying to get in here and suck our fucking blood. Now, their only chance is to fight back. Oh, yeah! George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, Juliet Lewis. Welcome to slavery. No thanks. I already had a wife. From dusk till dawn.